Here's a twist you won't believe. Someone's been secretly watching you, creating fake accounts just to spy on your every move. They're lurking in the shadows, peeking at your posts and stories, and even using your recent conversations to fuel their jealousy. But that's not all. This person is trying to sabotage your reputation by spreading lies and rumors. They're threatened by your popularity and the way people admire you. Despite their best efforts to undermine you, their deceit is failing to take hold. Want to find out the full story behind this sneaky behavior and how you can stay ahead of the game? Dive in to discover how this person's jealousy is unfolding and what you can do to keep shining bright. Here's the scoop. Someone is keeping an eye on you, but they're doing it secretly. They've made a fake account just to spy on you. This person might be checking out your Instagram or Snapchat stories, or peeking at your posts. They created this fake profile just to watch you and see what you're up to. It's like they're hiding in the shadows, trying to stay hidden while they keep track of you. Now, something happened where you had a chat with someone, and either this person saw it or found out about it. They didn't like what they heard. On top of that, someone who's close to this person keeps bringing you up in conversations. I'm also getting a vision of a wedding. Maybe you saw this person at a wedding or attended their wedding. This could be making them think about you more, and it seems to be stirring up some strong feelings. So, there's a person who feels very threatened by you. They're not just casually watching you, they're keeping a close eye on you, probably using fake accounts or secret ways to stay updated on what you're doing. They're doing this because they see you as a major threat, not because they're interested in being friends or getting to know you better. This person is bothered because people around them keep mentioning you. It's like every time they talk to someone, that person brings you up in a positive way. They hear about your achievements, your popularity, or your success, and it makes them uncomfortable. They might even feel jealous or insecure because of all the praise you're getting. So, instead of approaching you or trying to befriend you, they're hiding behind their screen, watching your every move. They're focused on you because they feel overshadowed by your success and the way others talk about you. You draw people in like a magnet. Lots of people love being around you. They give you tons of attention and want to hear what you have to say. People just can't get enough of you. You have a special charm that makes people naturally love you. You have a fun, childlike energy that's hard to ignore. You're also really open and warm, and you spread love everywhere you go. It's tough for anyone not to like you when you have such a positive vibe. Now, there's someone who feels threatened by this. They see how much people are drawn to you and how much they admire you. There's even someone close to this person who really likes you. They talk about you a lot, even if they try to act like they don't. It's clear to everyone that they're constantly bringing you up and saying good things about you. This makes the person who feels threatened even more uneasy. This person is trying to stir up trouble and twist the situation. Whenever others mention your name, they make a big effort to shift the spotlight away from you. They might be saying negative things and spreading false rumors about you. They are making up harsh stories and painting you in a bad light. I'm experiencing a loud ringing in my ears right now, which means this is definitely true. This person is spreading lies to make others dislike you. They want to turn people against you by misrepresenting who you really are. However, anyone who really knows you understands the truth. They can see that you're not at all like the negative image this person is trying to create. This person's actions are driven by their own fears and insecurities, and they're trying to drag you down because they're threatened by your presence and success. So, here's what's happening. There's someone who's really nervous about you. They see how much attention you're getting and they don't like it. They might even be trying to pull their partner or the person they like away from you. It's like they're holding their partner back from being near you because they see that their partner is really drawn to you. Imagine someone who's jealous and tries to keep their partner away from someone who's popular and admired. This person is doing everything they can to make sure their partner doesn't spend time with you. They see how much their partner talks about you and how much they seem to like you. This makes them very uneasy. They might even be saying bad things about you to try to turn their partner against you. They're scared that their partner sees something special in you and is afraid that their partner might like you more than them. 
So, they're trying to isolate their partner from you, making sure they don't have the chance to be around you. So, it looks like you might have known this person for a long time. With the Six of Cups, it's like you could be friends from way back, maybe even since childhood. This person who's worried about you is constantly keeping an eye on you. They are really scared of you. They watch what you do and are always checking in on you. This is because they feel threatened by the attention you get and the way people like being around you. There's a strong sense of Scorpio and Capricorn energy around this situation, which means their feelings and actions are pretty intense and serious. You might have known this person for a long time, like a family member or an old friend. They are trying hard to make you look bad. They want others to think you're not as great as you really are. If this person is connected to someone you've known forever, like an old buddy or relative, they're still trying to make you look bad. They might be spreading rumors or saying things like, I just don't trust this person, even though their feelings are totally wrong. It's like they're trying to turn people against you, but what they're saying doesn't match who you really are. They might be jealous or threatened because you attract a lot of positive attention. So, they're making up stories to hide your true value. Don't let their negativity get to you. You know your worth, and that's what really matters. For some of you, this is someone you've known for a long time, like an old friend or a family member. They're sneaky. They say nice things to your face but spread little lies or bad-mouthing behind your back. They want to turn someone against you. I just saw 818, which is a sign of things coming together. This person is very confusing. They act super sweet and kind when they're with you, but they're secretly trying to mess with people's minds. They talk behind your back, trying to get into other people's heads and create doubt about you. They might be over the top nice, almost to the point where it feels fake. They're trying to be so extra kind to distract you and make you feel unsure. But don't let their tricks get to you. You know who you are and what you're worth. This person is obsessed with talking badly about you. They spread negative gossip about you, and it annoys others. It's like they can't help but bring you up, constantly making nasty comments. Here's the odd part, even though they're trying to make you look bad, they can't stop copying you. They watch what you do closely, taking notes, and then they try to mimic your actions and style. It's like they want to steal your ideas but still drag you through the mud. They act like they're looking out for the person they're trying to turn against you, pretending to be all concerned. But in reality, they're just really jealous of you. They feel threatened by your success and the way people admire you. This person's behavior has a strong Virgo touch, showing they're sneaky and obsessed with trying to undermine you while secretly imitating you. This person is always trying to win, and they see you as their biggest rival. They love being the center of attention, so when you're around, they get sneaky. They try to turn people against you, but they do it in a clever way. They drop little hints and make negative comments about you without being too obvious. When you're in the same room with them, it's a different story. They act like your best friend, showering you with compliments and pretending they adore you. They might even bring you small gifts or offer extra help, trying to make you think they're genuinely nice. But here's the catch, while they're being all friendly in person, they're also spying on you online. They have a secret account where they watch your every move. They use this fake account to spread rumors and talk badly about you. They're pretending to be your friend while secretly trying to bring you down. It's like a double life, one where they act like they love you, and another where they're plotting against you. This person acts like they are super genuine and trustworthy, but that's not the truth at all. They are really fake. When they're with you, they try to show everyone how much they care. But behind your back, they talk badly about you and spread rumors. They are busy trying to make you look bad. Here's a clear sign, this person acts like your biggest fan when they're with you. They give you lots of compliments, shower you with attention, and ignore everyone else just to be around you. They might even act like you're their favorite person. But don't be fooled. They are two-faced. To your face, they're sweet and loving. Behind your back, they're spreading negativity. They want everyone to see you in a bad light while they pretend to be your best friend. Oh, and I keep getting the name Paul. It might be important. Let me know if that name means anything to you. 
This person really hates how you shine so brightly. When you walk into a room, everyone notices you and admires you. You are the center of attention, and this person can't stand it. They try hard to make you look bad. They spread lies and rumors, hoping people will believe them. But here's the thing, the people who already know you see right through their tricks. They know you're nothing like the awful picture this person is trying to paint. So even though this person keeps trying to turn people against you, those who know you well understand the truth. They see you for who you really are, not the fake image someone else is trying to create. This person's behavior is showing how insecure they really are. They're constantly bad-mouthing you and trying to turn others against you, but all this does is make them look awful. Their actions are making it clear that they are the real issue, not you. They can't stop bringing you up and saying nasty things about you. They're hoping to get people to agree with them and see you as the bad guy. But the truth is, it's all because you have this amazing energy that attracts people. When you walk into a room, everyone is drawn to you. People are curious about you, eager to talk to you, and excited to learn more about you. This person feels overshadowed and left out because of the attention you receive. Instead of dealing with their own feelings of being in the background, they try to bring you down. They think if they make you look bad, they'll be able to shine. But everyone can see through their efforts and understands that you're not the problem, they are. This is all about them, not you. They're acting out of competition and jealousy. They want to be in the spotlight and feel like they need to push you down to get there. They try to copy you and act like you, but at the same time, they're saying nasty things about you. People can see through their act. They notice that this person is always talking badly about you and spreading lies. It's obvious to everyone that this person is just trying to make you look bad. But here's the thing, you're kind and loving. You spread positivity wherever you go. People who know you see how sweet and caring you are. They don't buy into the lies and negativity that this person is spreading. So even though this person is trying hard to put you down, everyone can see the truth. Here's what's happening. This person is trying hard to make you look bad. They say you're mean or rude, but that's just a cover for their own behavior. They act all nice in front of you, but behind your back, they spread lies and bad talk about you. They see how much love and attention you get because you're genuinely kind and authentic. People are drawn to you because you radiate positivity and happiness. You have this natural charm and warmth that makes everyone want to be around you. This person, on the other hand, lacks that genuine energy. They can try to copy you, but they'll never be able to capture your true essence. It's like they're playing a game where they want to swap places with you, taking over your success and spotlight. They're jealous of how people flock to you and admire you. Even if they pretend to be friendly, their actions reveal their true colors. So, if you're dealing with someone like this, be aware. They might try to trick others into believing their lies or make themselves look better at your expense. Just stay true to who you are. Your realness and kindness are your superpowers, and no one can take that away from you. My cherished child, as your eternal shepherd, I have woven days of unparalleled blessing into the fabric of your existence. In the moments when you kneel in prayer, the seeds of your unwavering faith and relentless determination flourish, promising to bear fruit that will drench your soul in tears of happiness and echo through the corridors of time with laughter of joy. Yet, on this sacred journey, you must anchor your heart in the belief that no challenge is insurmountable. Stand firm with a resolve that is steadfast and unshakable, commanding mountains to move, knowing that the celestial realm shall align, unleashing a downpour of divine provision that will satiate your deepest longings and elevate your spirit to new heights. The horizon beckons each day, unfurling like the petals of a new bloom under the golden rays of dawn, whispering the promise of new beginnings, opportunities ripe for the taking, and challenges that will test the mettle of your soul. Clad in the armor of faith, march forward, fortified by the Holy Word, with the assurance that I, E, your almighty protector, am ever present. My presence is a beacon in the darkest of nights, a comforting shade in the blaze of noon, a steady hand amidst the fiercest storms, and a gentle caress in the soothing rains. Behold, 
the days of divine favor are upon you, as declared by your sovereign Lord. To be blessed is to bask in the joy that cascades from the heavens, a divine provision that nourishes your soul and completes your being. It is to stride into every battle, armed with the knowledge that victory is assured, for you are a child of the Most High. Blessedness is found in the simplicity of being content with your daily bread. In the quiet trust you place in me, your divine shepherd, who promises to provide not just for your bodily needs, but for the deeper cravings of your soul, the well-being of your family, and the wisdom you seek to nurture your spirit. This wisdom enables you to grow and flourish each day under my guidance, and to be a faithful servant living out the commands of my word with joy and dedication. I declare unto you, days rich with blessing are not merely approaching, they are almost upon us. Let your heart echo with belief in this truth, for you are well acquainted with the reality that the word of your omnipotent Father never falls to the ground unfulfilled. Approach me with all your burdens, let not the weight of these concerns rest upon your shoulders alone. The moment for your peace and rejuvenation has arrived. You expend your energies caring for others, draining yourself. But today, I have drawn near to uplift you, to cradle you in my arms, to offer you solace, and to envelop you in the boundless expanse of my love. Do not forget to cherish your own being as well. It is imperative that you dedicate time to seek me through prayer, to attune your ears to my voice, and to absorb my divine insights. Heed my word and my promises, for I have devised a plan destined to revolutionize your life and that of your families. It is not my desire for you to tread further along a path marked by a wearied soul, a troubled heart, and an encumbered mind. You are not created to endure a lifetime of incessant needs and conflicts. I have liberated and saved you so that you may forever stand tall, free from the shackles of defeat or humiliation at the hands of your adversaries. Into you, I have breathed an immeasurable worth and dignity. This is my solemn promise to you. Now I urge you to embrace my truth with open arms. I am setting before you numerous pathways to embark upon a new journey, leaving the shadows of past errors far behind. Concentrate on your loved ones, on prayer, and on stewarding the abundant blessings that are poised to flood into your life. Imagine awakening each day, liberated from the grips of fear or anxiety, your heart brimming with bravery and joy. Initiate this transformation today. Lift your voice in gratitude and proclaim with unwavering faith. Thank you, my God, for gifting me yet another day of life. Feel the divine strength that encases you from head to toe. Observe as your thoughts and emotions find equilibrium and my words firmly implant within your consciousness. You will retain all that I have imparted to you and it will arm you to face the challenges that today may bring. Recognize and embrace my love for you, accept my peace. Navigate your life with a resolute heart and find solace in my support. Let not the sorrowful whispers of your pillow at night convince you that love has forsaken you. Dismiss such thoughts, for right at this moment, you are enveloped in the tenderness of my divine embrace. The agony you endure is not a marker of your demise, nor a testament to failure. Surrender to me your pain and find solace in my presence. Should tears wish to flow, let them cascade freely. I long to share in every tear, to be with you in your moments of sorrow, standing by your side. I empathize deeply with your suffering, and it grieves me too. Yet know this, we are united in this trial, and as the dawn breaks with the sun of faith, illuminating your morning, the warmth of my love, your heavenly Father's love, will still be right there beside you. I am here to offer comfort, to imbue you with strength, and to reaffirm how immensely precious you are to me. Ask yourself, what force on earth or in the heavens can ever detach you from my embrace? Let this truth sink into the very core of your being. No anguish, no persecution, doubts, nor trials have the power to sever you from my steadfast, eternal, boundless, and sincere love. I impart this to you, so that you might always bear in mind that regardless of your shortcomings and errors, my love for you stands unshakable. 
I do not falter, I do not deceive, nor do I embellish. If I have professed my love for you a million times over, it is because my love for you is beyond measure, beyond time, infinitely vast and unfailing. Remember, my child, as it is written in Romans 8, 38-39, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let this be a testament to the enduring nature of my love for you, a love that transcends all barriers, a beacon of hope, and a source of strength, no matter the circumstances. The moment has arrived for you to fully embrace the depths of my love, discarding every ounce of doubt that shadows your heart. Let your faith be unyielding, akin to a sturdy sailboat that bravely traverses through stormy seas and fierce winds. You are destined neither to sink nor to be lost in the abyss, nor to stumble in your journey. Trust in my words, grasp the magnitude of this truth. It is time to stand firm in faith, to rise from despair, to walk in unwavering confidence. My hand has showered numerous blessings upon you, each a testament to my unfailing providence. Offer me your heart with the utmost trust and never allow your faith to be shaken. I assure you, I will never forsake you. Proclaim your belief in me. Experience the warmth of my constant presence. Allow this assurance to guide you, as it is affirmed in Hebrews 13, 5, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Thus, with such a promise, let your heart be fortified. I call upon you to stand strong amidst the tempest, secure in the knowledge that your anchor is cast in the bedrock of my love and faithfulness. Your path is illuminated by the light of my word, a beacon that guides you through the darkest nights and the fiercest storms. Embrace this journey with me, knowing that my love envelops you like a shield, protecting and guiding you towards a destiny filled with hope and abundance. With each step you take, remember, my promises are true, and my love is ceaseless. Let your heart be filled with the peace that comes from knowing you are never alone, for I am with you, guiding your steps, lifting you above the tumult of the waves, and leading you to shores of peace and prosperity. Trust in me with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to me, and I will make your path straight. As proclaimed in Proverbs 3, 5, 6, This is the faith I call you to a faith that sees beyond the visible, that reaches into the very heart of the divine where my love for you is endless and my commitment to your well-being is unwavering. I am ever-present, eagerly awaiting your conversations with me. Your mind brims with ambitions and well-laid plans. You embody diligence and responsibility. Harbor no fear, for your path is aligned with triumph in and trust in me without reservation. Seek my presence daily and attentively. Embrace the wisdom my words impart. My desire is for you to tread confidently, to anchor your dreams in the unshakable foundation of the rock, and to lay down the roots of your family's future in alignment with my will and guidance. I am certain you grasp the essence of my message. My request is simple. Direct your focus towards what truly matters, ensuring your precious time and energies are not wasted on ephemeral pursuits and trivial distractions. Your relationship with me is paramount let us remain inseparably connected. I await those quiet moments of your attentive listening, for it is in those silences that our deepest exchanges unfold. Your growth and fortification fill me with immense joy, especially as I observe the dreams you chase and the dedication you pour into them. My intent is to shower you with blessings so profound that doubt finds no foothold, for you have been precisely placed in this moment perfectly prepared for the openings I am about to reveal to you. Proceed. Approach each opportunity with courage. A realm of blessings beckons the courageous, the ones who recognize their value, who reject the echoes of negativity and the discourse of failure or surrender. Embrace this journey with the assurance that you are not alone. Each step you take is a step closer to the fruition of your dreams. Under my watchful eye and with my guiding hand, 
The adversities you encounter are not roadblocks, but stepping stones meticulously placed by me to elevate you to greater heights. In the face of difficulty, remember that resilience and faith open the gates to untold blessings. Stand firm in your worth, undeterred by fear or discouragement, for in my promise lies your victory and fulfillment. I have intricately woven you into existence, infused life within your very being, and graced you with a splendid dominion. Yet should you find yourself retreating in hesitation, shackled by doubts of my assurances or swayed by the errant counsel of those who do not know me, we stand at a crossroads for your growth and flourishing. An unwavering faith in me is essential. You must anchor your belief in the truth that I harbor an unfathomable love for you, that my presence is a steadfast reality, and that it is within my greatest desires to nurture and shower blessings upon you. Your existence, your prosperity, rest securely within my omnipotent hands. Trust in this without reservation. Affirm your faith in me. Step into the sanctity of my embrace. Allow my touch to mend your heart and pacify your spirit. As dawn breaks, my intention is to erase the remnants of nocturnal sorrows, to infuse your being with a joy that radiates as you venture into the daylight. You have spent countless hours in the silence of the night, wrestling with concerns that stretch beyond your reach. Let me be your ally. Grant me the privilege to fortify our bond, to enrich this divine companionship. While I value your reverence, I yearn for your trust, to see me not only as your God, but also as your confidant. Share with me your burdens. I am ever present to listen. Your confessions are safe with me, shielded from every ear. I promise forgiveness and to hurl your transgressions into the abyss. As I have proclaimed, your previous errors are not for me to brandish. I choose not to dwell on what lies behind us. Thus, I invite you to dedicate moments each day for our dialogue. I will attentively absorb your words, consider your pleas, and commence the orchestration of my responses. Faith is all that is required of you, along with a measure of patience, for the realization of my vows will encounter no delay. The blessings you seek, the answers you yearn for, will assuredly find their way to you in due course. I encourage you to embrace tranquility in this moment, positioning yourself in readiness for the influx of blessings poised on the horizon. Sustenance, serenity, robust health, spiritual wealth, extraordinary prosperity, familial harmony, restoration within your household, forgiveness and tender affection, these await you. As dawn breaks, ushering in the gift of a new day, let your heart swell with appreciation for this blessing, this privilege you've been granted. Consider those in the throes of hardship who equally yearn for my intervention. I am appointing you as my emissary to embody my love and disseminate the essence and splendor of my divine scheme. Witness the expansion of your joy and the fortification of your vigor as you cultivate a demeanor of worship and thankfulness. My deepest desire is for your happiness. In this assertion, there is no falsehood. Yet the onus is yours to accord me the reverence I am due in your life, to heed my guidance and to earnestly seek my presence. It brings me joy to shower you with blessings and envelop you in my love regardless of the complexities encircling your circumstances. In moments of despair, find solace beneath the shelter of my wings. When anxiety besieges you, find comfort upon my shoulder and unburden your soul. Entrust me with all your fears and apprehensions, for my grace and mercy know no bounds. Let this assurance fill you, my readiness to bestow upon you and your loved ones, a life marked by peace, health, spiritual growth, and abundance is unwavering. Start each day with a heart brimming with gratitude, recognizing the sheer beauty and opportunity each morning brings. Your role as a beacon of my love in the lives of those enduring suffering is critical. Through you, the radiance of my love and the grandeur of my intentions will be manifested. As you embrace a lifestyle of gratitude and praise, you'll find your happiness augmented and your resilience strengthened. Remember, my desire for your joy is unfeigned, rooted in the very essence of my being. However, 
Your fulfillment and the realization of these blessings hinge upon your willingness to prioritize me in your life, to adhere to my teachings, and to pursue me with zeal. I revel in the opportunity to bless and cherish you, even amidst the trials you may face. When the weight of the world feels unbearable, retreat to the refugee provided by my embrace. Share your concerns with me and let my boundless grace and mercy carry you through. My love for you is profound and unwavering, and it is because of this deep affection that I am committed to supporting you. You are cherished deeply by me, my child, and there should never be any room for doubt regarding this truth. You have opened your heart wide to me, embraced my essence with all your might, and your devotion fills me with immense joy. It is for this very reason that you are entitled to approach me boldly, with confidence, communicating with me openly, with clarity, and devoid of any apprehension. Understand that you are worthy of guidance and correction when necessary. I have brought you into existence, having chosen you even before you took your first breath in this world. I am intimately familiar with every aspect of your being, your battles, your strengths, your aspirations, and your vulnerabilities. When you falter and fall, know that it does not provoke my wrath. Never hesitate to seek my presence, even when burdened with guilt. Where else shall you turn? To those who profess their regard and affection for you, only to betray my teachings and speak negatively of you behind your back. The sanctuary you yearn for a haven of friendship, understanding, and boundless love can only be found in my presence. I'm here not to judge harshly, but to offer refuge and redemption. In my eyes, you are more than your mistakes. You are a beloved creation deserving of grace and a fresh start. Let my love be the foundation on which you rebuild and renew your spirit. Together, we will navigate the complexities of life, drawing strength from our unbreakable bond. Remember, my arms are always open, ready to offer comfort, guidance, and the unconditional love that you seek. Come to me and let us walk this journey together, enveloped in the light of my love and the promise of a future filled with hope and fulfillment. My pursuit is not to catalogue your errors, for I am already acquainted with each one. It is not my desire to witness your faltering, only to turn away in disdain. Rather, in moments when you find yourself drifting away from my embrace, it is I who venture forth to meet you, to gently guide you back to the sanctuary of peace. Within this haven flows the river of serenity, from which you may quench your thirst with its revitalizing waters. This is the earnest plea I extend to you once more. Never allow the shadow of your most challenging trials to make you forget the depth of my love for you. My affection, coupled with my omnipotence, stands ready to extricate you from the depths of despondency, to infuse your being with a renewed sense of purpose and fulfillment, and to rekindle the bravery and zest for life that seem beyond your grasp. My deepest wish is for you to trust in me, to immerse yourself in the realization that you are profoundly loved and safeguarded. For this is the eternal truth unchanging across the ages. Let this assurance be your stronghold, reminiscent of the promises found within the scriptures, such as Isaiah 43, 2, which proclaims, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you, when when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. This passage is a testament to the steadfast nature of my love and protection over your life. My presence is a constant, unwavering force designed to guide you through every trial and tribulation, offering a wellspring of hope and renewal when despair seems to have the upper hand. Embrace this truth with all your heart, knowing that my love is a beacon that shines brightly, guiding you back to me time and time again. In me, you will find the solace and strength necessary to face whatever lies ahead. Assured of my eternal love and commitment to your well-being, I want to assure you of my everlasting love a love that seeks your highest good now and forevermore. Rest assured, I am vigilantly overseeing the well-being of your family. Continue to lift them up in prayer, for they rest securely within my providential care. Your prayers serve as a powerful conduit through which I am actively intervening in their lives, addressing even those concerns that remain invisible to your eyes. 
Do not halt your supplications. Their need for your spiritual intercession is profound. Know that I accompany each of them as they step out from the safety of your home, safeguarding them from harm and enveloping them in my protection. Embrace tranquility, my dear child, for I am orchestrating the unity and peace of your household. The distress and sorrow that weigh upon you are on the verge of transformation. Together, you and your family will experience a deepening bond. I am in the process of distancing those who sow discord and ill will from your midst. However, it is imperative that you extend forgiveness and show compassion towards each of them. Refrain from engaging with their antagonism and you will witness a cessation of their disruptive actions. Let this assurance inspire you. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Matthew 5, 9 As you embody peace and forgiveness, you become a reflection of my kingdom on earth, influencing not only your family, but also those around you. Your restraint and love, in the face of provocation, are powerful testimonies of your faith and trust in my will. Therefore, persist in prayer, remain steadfast in love, and continue to foster forgiveness. In doing so, you align with my purposes, becoming a vessel through which my grace and healing can flow into the lives of your loved ones and even your adversaries. The unity and harmony you long for within your home are being woven together by my hand. Stand firm in this faith and prepare to witness the beautiful unfolding of my plan for you and your family. You were brought into existence with a divine purpose to embody and disseminate my love, to be a beacon of my kindness and illumination in the world. It is through the living testimony of your life that many within your circle, especially your family, will undergo transformation. They will observe the serenity and profound change in you and start to question the source of your peace and newfound demeanor. It is in these moments of curiosity and wonder that you must attribute the transformation to your faith in me, asserting that just as I have reshaped your life, I hold the capacity to transform the lives of each member of your family as well. Continue to intercede for them in prayer, my beloved child. While it may seem beyond your ability to alter certain circumstances or to be perpetually by their side, remember, my reach knows no bounds. I will intervene on your behalf and theirs because of my boundless love for every soul upon this earth. Your role in this divine partnership is simple yet profound. Commit to prayer, relinquish all forms of resentment, malicious talk, envy and bitterness. Place your unwavering trust in me, live with the assurance that I oversee all and that my timing is impeccable. Surrender your worries to me and you shall witness remarkable transformations in your surroundings. If doubts ever cloud your mind about my ability to reach someone within your home, cling to faith, for my power knows no limits. I'm capable of altering mindsets, reshaping character, and softening hearts. Be patient, for soon you will bear witness to the evidence of my transformative power. Remember with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Let this assurance fortify your faith and guide your actions as you walk in obedience and submission to my will. You pave the way for miracles to unfold, not only in your life, but in the lives of those around you. Stand firm in this belief and ready your heart for the wondrous works I am about to perform in your midst. Brace yourself, for what I am about to unveil will surpass your wildest expectations. I want you to know that my presence will surround you both by day and by night guiding the unfolding of events in alignment with my celestial scheme. Turn to the scriptures and commune with me in heartfelt prayer, for it is through these sacred texts that I will affirm the veracity of my promises to you. Though heaven and earth may vanish, my words will stand unalterable and eternal. I will navigate you, leading you directly to the juncture of your breakthrough, to the very spot where you will thrive unboundedly. Anticipate a profound metamorphosis within your life as my plans for you come to fruition. Embrace the gift I am extending to you. You are on the verge of entering a realm that marks the beginning of all your dreams and ambitions. In this new phase, you will cross paths with souls whose journeys mirror your own, 
whose thoughts resonate with the echoes of your aspirations. Together, you will craft a tapestry of blessings and wonders, for the scope of what I have in store for you is beyond your wildest imaginations. Approach every individual with kindness and empathy, for you are destined to meet people of virtue and extraordinary character. Souls who will captivate and inspire you, help will arrive from quarters you least expect. Remain vigilant with your senses, finely tuned so that when the moment arrives and the door to new possibilities opens wide, you will not be ensnared in trivial pursuits or meaningless distractions. Further explanations are unnecessary. My message to you is unambiguous and its truth resonates within you. You know with certainty that I will direct your footsteps and remain by your side through every season of life. Place your trust in me, for my love for you is boundless. Today, I aim to show you the depth of your significance to me. I am the guardian of your heart, the provider of tranquility to your mind and the purifier of your thoughts. In moments of upheaval, know that I am steadfastly by your side. Believe in the assurance I bring, this message is a treasure meant just for you. Every blessing you receive flows from my grace and with me as your constant companion. Each new day unfolds as an opportunity for unexpected joys and divine interventions. I am here to empower you, to be your beacon of hope in the darkest nights and through the most challenging trials. My love for you is the foundation of my commitment to alleviate your worries. It is out of this profound love that I assure you of my forgiveness. Should there have been moments when you felt distant or if doubts about my presence clouded your heart, know that I forgive your hesitation and every misstep along the way. My ultimate wish is to breathe new life into your being, to catalyze a transformation within you that enables you to walk in step with me fully embracing the life I have envisioned for you. I admire your dedication to those you hold dear, yet I urge you to lift them up in your prayers as well. Rest assured, I extend my vigilant watch over you and your loved ones at all times. Through every journey you undertake, under the brilliance of day and through the shadows of night, across paths blessed and even those misguided, continue to pray. Maintain your trust in me and let not anxiety overwhelm you. I pledge to safeguard them, harboring the same desire to welcome them back into my embrace, should they stray in search of new horizons. Have you forgotten, or perhaps it momentarily escaped your memory, the reason behind my sacrifice, enduring the agony of the cross? It was to envelop you and your loved ones in my boundless mercy. My desire is for you to approach my throne with confidence at any time. The gateway is perpetually open. My ear is inclined towards you, and my promises stand ready to manifest in your life, nurturing your faith and yielding a harvest that paves the way to a more fulfilling existence. Let me affirm once again, for the sake of absolute clarity, that your unwavering faith and trust in me are what I seek. There's no need for prolonged contemplation. Should you face any challenge, simply come before me and trust me with your concerns and that is sufficient. I will heed your call, and my word, alive and powerful, will manifest its truth in your life. This same word that you engage with daily through reading, listening, and earnest reflection carries beautiful promises that echo in your thoughts amidst trials. When you feel assailed, wounded, or diminished by the words or actions of others, remember my commitment to never leave you forsaken. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I want you to know, without a shadow of a doubt, that your life and the lives of your family are securely held within my hands. No one can remove you from my care. My love's magnitude has been revealed through countless gestures, and the time for doubt has passed. You and your family hold immeasurable value in my eyes. Do not lose heart or refrain from praying. This message comes in response to your plea for a sign, and here it stands. Should you require further assurance, know that I am ever willing to communicate with you. Awaken your senses, ready your heart, for I find joy in speaking with you and yearn to reveal the depths of my love continually. I am ever attentive to your voice, never growing weary of hearing your petitions. Yet, I urge you to persist in prayer, 
Do not regard it as a fruitless endeavor. Exercise patience and allow me the grace to work intricately in your life. I promise to deliver beyond your expectations when the moment for my answer arrives. Do not lose heart in your period of waiting. Engage in introspection. Consider how you have cultivated and fortified your faith. It has grown more resilient and unwavering. You find yourself less daunted by challenges and less consumed by fear. In the face of conflict, you are walking my path, and this is commendable. In those trying times when you felt adrift, you did not veer off course or wander down convoluted and hazardous byways. Rather, you clung steadfastly to my love, and this brings me immense joy. Take comfort in the assurance that I am always attuned to your prayers, committed to answering them. Your journey of faith demonstrates a remarkable transformation. You've learned to stand firm, drawing closer to me with each step. This steadfastness is a testament to the strength of our bond, a bond that will never be broken. I celebrate your devotion and the progress you've made on this spiritual voyage. Your trust in me, even amidst uncertainty, is a profound act of worship that does not go unnoticed.